How's it? Anglus, welcome to Mongoose Max Y, the channel. <laughs> just get out of practice just a little bit and it takes a while to get back in. So I don't know, I'm just doing these every day. It's a little vlog, a little news. Well, vlog. The winds are coming back, so it's getting like, uh, somehow the wind just unravels me. So, uh, I'm not like happy about the wind returning. It's gonna get up to like the 30s, 30s and the 40s and yeah, a couple days. Wait a second, I'm turning on the ghost box because gotta get some of these things going on. This is the ghost tube free app. It's meaningless. I mean, it is, it's just punched in words and they come up random and you need to make people make oh oh i make a story up oh it's the ghosts are talking oh the spirits anyways so uh it's just fun <laughs> and so uh the uh vlog no energy see no energy that's me right now it's no energy i don't this it's the trump trial i'm trying to figure out what to say because here it is i haven't been following all this kind of news and everything because trying to get stuff done and and also, uh, I was watching uh, Chucky in the White House taking over. <laughs> Chucky the dollar? <laughs> I, they, 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 they had the series I was watching, so I was like, eh, you don't usually watch it. It's the White House thing. The Chucky's taking over. He's going to nuke everything. But he has the, the sequel finale, and then uh, they show this thing of Chucky. Look, it's uh, eerily... Trumpy. <laughs> so I just thought, I don't know, maybe that's why it was. Anyhow, it, Trump in trial, he's he's doing this, the hush money, which is the election interference and New York State defraud, business defraud case. So they're trying to cross-examine some witnesses and the witnesses are like Stormy Daniels' lawyer. So he was representing the, the, the adult uh, uh, entertainer. <laughs> Whatever. She was a porn star, and that's what made her famous. And then he just, she's having an affair with a married guy who's running for president. And it was a big inquiring minds want to know. But when this came into Trump territory, and she was caught, the lawyer, anyways, the lawyer, they're cross examining the lawyer, they're trying to dig say they're trying to say this that trump was being extorted because he's running for president and they got this dirt story and they're asking for money and extortion he's the victim and it was probably just negotiating how much right <laughs> trump's known to be stingy and they want to have the most money they can get from trump when they sell him the story i'm sure he's interested and trump's you know, doing the art of the deal. Uh, Twenty thousand, uh, about three hundred and fifty thousand. Good deal. Sounds like three hundred fifty thousand dollars, something like that, under their pay. So they're trying to uh, to discredit this guy who was a lawyer for the, the person, uh, also, you know, for the one the magazine. Ecker. <laughs> Seriously, so uh, yeah, they've got uh, Pecker. Pecker is up there. They're trying to discredit Pecker, uh, the, the the lawyer. It's like, well, what cases? Well, well, let's look at this. What have you done with your Pecker? And uh, he's, you know, saying, like, look at these cases. They're like, and it's all the celebrities, you can't understand. the celebrities and the sex states and celebrity smut search for. So if celebrities got into shenanigans and they got the story on it or some type of photo, it all goes through that. So they're like, ooh, was it Charlie Sheen case? Was it the uh, Hulk Hogan case? And Statue. They're just trying to make him look bad. And, and they're trying to make it look like it's an extortion. It's like, 
<laughs> What's the point? What's the point? The guy on trial, Donald Duck, is trying to get his election cleaned up, and he wasn't supposed to be doing it. And he's expending like money that was uh, given to him for campaign. So it's like campaign spending is a thing to. So anyway, when they brought this stuff up, though, Trump woke up out of his sleep and listened. So might be it's significant. Boo. Anyways, Hawaii's got news too. Let's take it. Look, look, see? Hawaii news. Thumbnail. Ugh. Hawaii's got news too. There's, um, the, the big thing is, you know, I went to the beach and check out this thing video I posted. There's no one on the beach. And the reason is, is because there is a. There is a baby seal somewhere. <laughs> but this is lawmakers approved nearly 200 bills, which is good in the sense that they're doing something. But of the 200 bills approved, they're like, you have to sift through what didn't they approve? Because that's what people are more interested in. Usually they're trying to get their legislation in there and it doesn't do it. And the ones that don't go, the ones that, eh. But they got a bunch of stuff done and I'm not sure what. <laughs> it includes a, a billion dollars to help Maui recovery. Okay, so we'll just stop there. Uh, Sue Self, oh yeah. And on the Maui uh, disaster, the the cell phone carriers, right? Like Verizon and AT and those kind of carriers, they're being sued for not putting out their alerts because they had coverage they had a down their coverage was down when they should have been getting alerts it's like gosh they got money sue them i guess that's the idea so in sports the weenies last stand look the baseball softball this is a softball lady is maya uh <laughs> okay anything else golf no yeah just relax what year is it what year is it it's 2024 can you believe it Oh, just relax, man. Remember when you wanted to relax, just like uh, 1961, just go out and hang out with the uh, flight crew. <laughs> hey, hey, put in the laser flight crew, yeah. You'd have to get in the plane, but show me your ticket. Uh, right. This is four military women were crowned queens of the respect. We commanded. Okay, ghost box. These are actually military women crowned queen of their respective uh, branches of the military. So this is like, uh, da, da, uh, I guess Navy, uh, oh, oh gosh. Queens are uh, the Navy, Navy, Air Force, one of these, uh, Navy, Air, uh, Marines, Air Force, Navy, and um, Army. There you go. Jeez, I get that. I, I, I got mixed up with the hats. Okay, thank you, ladies. You're all queen, queens, <laughs> queen of the navies. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm still wondering about that, uh, those, those riots on the, I mean, they're turning into riots. Um, uh, I, I just gotta say, those, those campus things, right? They're like peaceful protesting, but they're, they're turning riotous. And it's definitely, everyone's just getting arrested. So, and on UCLA campus, they're, it was getting pretty nasty in UCLA campus, and they brought in the LAPD. Man, if they brought in, I was in Los Angeles, if they brought in the LAPD, I'd just, <laughs> you don't mess with the LA. Bad, bad news. Bad news. Okay. Okay, back to, oh, a political cartoon. No one is above the law. Let's take this no off, and it's like, this one is above the law. Uh huh. And then sticking down by the justices. No. They can't say no. Okay, we got plant-based lifestyles, good for your health. Power grids, the issue, not green energy, independent social media, be, 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 Trump controversy, be. Oh, we're just talking about that. Let's do this one. <laughs> Schools should punish pro-Palestine protesters. In regard to the pro-Palestine campus protests and occupations, right now there are too many list and comment on it's past time for these children to learn a life lesson. Actions equal rewards or consequences. 
those schools who do not belong to the students. Oh, the bells, the bells, what can we do? Those schools do not belong to the students who have no right to disrupt, disturb, or infringe on the rights of other, other students or instructors. They do not run the school, collect them, get their names, revoke any and all scholarships, athletic or academic, and send them home. Make them reapply next year. There must be consequences for their actions. Too bad their parents didn't teach them long before it got to this. James Prichette, Pahoa, Hawaii Island, talking in tutu voice. Thank you, James, for talking in tutu voice. That just makes it all sound better. <laughs> but it's right. I, I remember you go to the schools, and I get it. Higher, higher education. It's inside. Higher is it higher than high school? Anything higher than high school is higher education. Higher education is big business. They're out for the money. They want the money. They want your tuition money. That's about it. But when you're there and you got that thing, you're going for that diploma, which is their uh, their backing, their name. You're paying for their name. And then it's like, you know, get the quality education. It's supposed to be reputable for that quality education. So when you're there, you're under their rules. I mean, we had problems when, you know, it's like if there's like campus security at USC, they carry guns. It's like, holy crap. Have we met? And like, if you're doing something like drinking or smoking or making loud noise in campus security, it's like, oh, oh. But if you get in trouble with the administration and they suspend you, there's nothing you can do. Please. So it's, it's, it's true, you know, James talking in tutu voice, you're right. You know, they, they go there and they start doing a protest. Okay, protest, fine. Freedom of speech, protest, freedom of assembly. But you cross that line and you disrupt the school, the university. It's like, you're out of there. And you should be going, oh, please don't, please don't suspend me. But no, they're just like, we own the place, We're taking over the buildings and everything. So it's quite a whatever. I mean, yeah, I, I and plus I'm not really into their, uh, <laughs> their, their issue. Anyways, aloha. Have a good day. Look, it's going to be a nice day. It's Thursday, right? I think. Oh, yes, it's Thursday. Oh, have a nice Thursday. Have a nice day. Aloha to you. It's May. It's May. Aloha. Aloha to you.